Hey guys, so this is a little weird. I don't usually talk face to face, but I'm deciding to try something different. So first things first, I'm going to put in some contacts. So lately I've been absolutely obsessed with something called um, Crypt TV on YouTube. Um, they're just, they're really cool. I really like their stuff. Obviously not spawns, but I throw it out there anyway. But um, I've been absolutely obsessed with them. I think they, their channel is so cool. And as you can see over here, I do have some reference pictures of what I am going to be doing. Um, but you kind of can't see them, so that's good. So um, I've been absolutely obsessed with this. And the very first one that I ever watched from them was called Miss Anity. So what they are is they're like a little horror or a little short film like channel. And they are super, super cool. Um, they do a lot of horror stuff. And I mainly only watch the horror stuff. I mean, they do have some other videos on there, which I've watched, but... I love the horror stuff and I came to find them through Jack's video, the one that he just recently did, of um, watching scary things and trying not to get scared by them or whatever, you know, a silly video. Um, and I did find them through there and I, <laughs> for a whole day I binged them and then the next day I binged them and then the next day I binged them. I'm out of stuff to watch which really sucks. But they have a series, or a, they call it seasons, um, of something called Miss Anity, and she's like this spider woman, and she, it, it's something you would have to watch to understand, but the very first one was that. That's the first thing that I ever saw from them, and I'm obsessed. I'm waiting for their season two to come out, um, because at the end of the season one, they said, oh, Miss Anity's, you know, not not gone she'll be back or you know stuff like that but today i really wanted to do a body painting of the main protagonist who is miss anity she's evil she looks kind of like a spider um very creepy and i really like it but i wanted to try because obviously theirs is either you know sfx or cgi which i can do sfx but i really want to try to body paint this I think it's really cool I haven't done a body paint in a long time the first time I ever started like makeup and SFX and stuff like that was through like body paint and I was watching Lex um, but I really really want to try to do this as a body paint even though I know I could probably just do it with um, SFX but, so we're gonna try body paint so the very first thing that I gotta do there it is, is find my glue stick washable Elmer's glue stick and we gotta get rid of these eyebrows I also drew out what I want it to look like kind of on my face I've got my reference pictures here and here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the drawing that I did to like gauge where it's going to be on my face and then I'm also going to be using the reference pictures of the actual Miss Anity to uh, help me do some placements. So while I was watching the video she seemed to be a little bit more purple than um, what she actually is. She's definitely a lot more gray. Um, <clears throat> But, I don't know, I might go a little bit more purple on her just because she does look a little purple. But I think I'm going to use this picture for my main reference. Um, obviously she's very creepy and she's obviously a spider. So, I'm just going to let my eyebrows dry and do a couple more coats. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little spatula and I'm going to dig into my glue stick here. And Smudge that onto my eyebrows. Why am I talking like B? I'm gonna use a little bit of water to smooth it out a little bit. Also, I'm gonna take a heater to my face. Huh. My stitch mark. I love my stitch mug. 
Now that my eyebrows are all nice and dry, I'm going to be taking some clear, what is it called? Spring? Like, so, loose powder. There we go. That's what it is. My brain isn't working today. Don't mind me. So I'm taking my wet beauty blender. Not wet, but damp. Sticking it in some powder. Powdering my eyebrows. And then I have dark concealer here that I'm going to take and just dot a couple dots across my eyebrows. Polka, polka brows. I'm gonna call these polka brows. Okay, for the most part, I don't have eyebrows. I'm gonna just repowder these. Yeah, there we go. So, I'm gonna stretch my skin a little bit. With some help. Now I'm going into like the crease of my eyeball. Here, around. because I don't want it to be in the whole socket or there won't be enough room for the little eye and medium eye. So I am only taking the crease. And then the little one is going to go right about here. And then the medium one is going to go just above the eyebrow. We'll do fixes afterwards. So now, because I don't have teeth, I'm gonna paint in the teeth. So I'm gonna have a much smaller um, chin. Actually, she has a pretty small chin. Her her face actually curves in a lot right here and like gives her like this kind of chin. <laughs> so I might have to do something like paint it so it looks a little bit thinner right here because I have a little bit of a wider jaw or wider chin. And I was going to do the fangs, which you don't see in the reference picture, because I don't think they have one. I'm actually going to look here. You can see in the background it's scrolling. This is the only one I see with the fangs, which she doesn't look any different except for the fact that the fangs are out. Alright, first I'm going to actually draw out the mouth, and then I'm going to figure out from there if I want the fangs or not. So as you can see, her lip is a little weird, and in my picture of the drawing that I did real quick, I am going to put it quite a bit above, because her lip, I mean, obviously it looks like it was torn open, so. She has tears all over where her mouth is. Ooh, you know what, before I finish up that, I'm going to give myself the redness that is around the eyes. Um, don't have as much forehead space, but she has this weird like squiggly, which you see here, this weird squiggly on her forehead. Might have to veto that depending on how big I can make this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna finish up drawing the mouth. the bottom teeth when I'm actually painting. Now, 
my next thought is what do I start with? Because I think I'm going to start, obviously I'm using my Mayron, my broken Mayron palette. My water activated paints. I think I should start with her base, which is like, I don't know, it's like tan with like, like stippled white. So what I might do is just like, obviously keep my skin tone. Uh, you know what? So I have my Fit Me by Maybelline here. I'm only taking a little bit. I use a little mirror piece. And where is my sponge? There it is. And I'm just gonna go around in the areas that aren't gonna be completely painted over. Even up my skin tone, even though her skin tone is obviously not even whatsoever, but that was okay. I think that'll work. Instead of putting holes in it, I just ripped it. So, it's not super white, so I am gonna add just a tidbit of black in there. And I'm just gonna use my water bottle here. My very dirty, broken water bottle. And I'm gonna take my brush. And I just sprayed a little bit of water in there. It's a little bit more gray. And I'm just gonna stipple this, and then before it dries, I'm gonna take my sponge and then blend it out more. That might actually be a little too much gray, so I am gonna get some more white out of there. So I already have a little bit of black in there from whatever I did last, which was the, oh, the zipper zombie. So um, I'm gonna use that with the black mixed in because I think that'll work out well. So first things first, before I decide to actually go in, I got these um, nail brush art, nail brush arts. English number one, um, nail art brushes for like painting for my dolls and stuff. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to outline this entire thing and put in the little cracks and stuff. I'm going in with the bigger brush, obviously. Sorry, I didn't say anything. That part is done. Got to do the other side. So, let's do that. So here it is. The eyeballs are a little weird, but that's okay. So, for the most part, that part's done. I'm also going to do the eyeballs now in black. Now, I'm not good at drawing circles, so bear with me. Do the rest of your eyeballs. Boom. Eyeballs filled in, fixed, look like a ladybug. Yeah. What's next? Shading. Shading is most definitely next. Actually, no. What's next is fixing the stippling around where I 
buggered up. So, on that note, I'm gonna take a cool tip, dunk it in some water, and try to fix these lines. Excuse me. All right, we're gonna stipple because I'm just making it worse. And now I have a red smudge on me. So, that's the yellow and the white. No red, why is there red in there? There is no red. Get out of there. Now I have yellow, white, tiny, 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 tiny bit of black. A little bit more on there because tiny was too, too little. And re stipple the areas that you stupidly messed up. You are not me, so I'm sure you did better. I think I'm gonna start one. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of that red. And oh boy. Um ah, a lot of it is super dark. So I am gonna take quite a bit of black and put that in there as well. I wonder what that is, that's for gums. She also has quite a bit up here. There's an interesting thing going on, um, well technically her right, I'm doing this opposite on accident, but that's okay, that happens. Where it's like, there's a little bit of her skin showing, or at least a much lighter patch in here that looks like skin. And I am going to take this red. Her lips are much brighter. A little bit of white, actually. So now it's teeth time. So I feel like actually. We don't have enough gum here, so let me put a little bit more gum into this. Tiny brush again. And some white. And some yellow. And she has eight teeth across the top, which is very... You know, she's a spider. You get it. Anyway, so... Start making the teeth because I need to shut up. because they don't point how I want them to. That looks a little funny.
fill it in the bottom teeth now. Well, I'm filling them in as a block, and then I'm gonna do some details with shading and the black as well, so. I'm just gonna give them a little bit of like sharpness looking. Now for the most part, I think it's just, it's going to be a lot of shading. And first off, I'm going to start with this brush. And first I'm going to start going around the entire outside of this with some brown shadows. You know what I didn't do was put those little ones out. So I am going to do that real quick. So what they did to her nose was, is like super like small. that I have to try to give me her nose shape. I'm going to use this darker brown around the Right now I'm just going to work on this side of the face. So now I'm going to go in to like darker reds, black, and attempt to do some shading around the eyes to make them look a little bit more popped. I'm gonna be, whoops, I'm gonna be using a lot more black I think here. I am glancing over at my reference picture and really looking at this to try to get this correct. Like I said, I haven't done a body paint in a long time. And I really wanted to try to do this some justice soon as I really like the Crip TV stuff. So. I want to be as accurate as possible. And I'm putting black eyeshadow all over my mouth. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the white from the Mayron the brush, smaller one. And what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take the white and I'm going to place it where it is on the reference and then I'm going to dab it out to try to get a shine going. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the highlights in her actual eyes. And then the other thing I want to do is I'm going to take the tiny, tiny brush again and I'm going to put a bunch of black in with red and I'm going to go around the outside here. Give it some more dimension. Feathering it out with a brush. Obviously that already looks a hell of a lot better than the other one, just because there's more depth. Uh, hey, <laughs> just because there's more depth and dimension. Um, so I'm just going to kind of keep pulling the shadow or pushing the shadows and pulling the highlights 
Um, so I'm just going to finish this eye up real quick. I am going to take some of the red, the pure red, and some white, and just try to highlight without using, you know, too much. Just to, like, really push back those dark areas. Now that Last thing to do is to grab some light and put highlights all over areas where I shaded. And just the smallest little bit will really help. If it wasn't so shaky all the time, that would help. very highlighted because if you look at the picture this is a big smile for her put a little bit of black here on my nose there's that eye let's do the other so here we are I think I'm gonna do a little shading like contouring or Contouring, contouring around the face, just a little bit, just to get, I don't know, some more depth, I guess. So I'm just taking the shadow color that I've been using, so my browns and stuff, and I'm just gonna shade around my face. Now here is um, the scariest part for me, I think, is going to be doing the mouth area. Yeah, so let's do that, I suppose. Um, first things first, I'm gonna take some black and I'm gonna really shade this red. the tooth as well. I just put some white in there just because I want to show show it again. Alright, I'm going back and doing the rest and going to be feathering it out. So like the rest of it, I need to shade around it, so I'm going to do that real quick.
this, it's time for some highlights. I am still just highlighting, just different areas now. I'm just going by the reference picture. And the last thing to do is try to fix these teeth because other than the teeth, I think the rest of it looks pretty good. It's just like the teeth are a little dirty, so. I hope so. It doesn't look stupid. I've been working on this for three hours. Let's see what I can do with the hair. Seems like I have really short hair compared to this girl. So, she's very voluminous. Let's see. I split her up into sections. I mean, my hair's not blonde, but whatever. I'm able to see it with my eyes closed, so. Is it creepy? No, so. I'll know when I'm editing the video if I look like an idiot or if I look like creepy. So, I really hope you like this video. I hope you like this style of video. If not, let me know. If you did, let me know. So, yeah. I really like Crypt TV. I just did three hours of body painting for it. It looked like this. Still not sure how I feel about it. Anyway, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, maybe, ring the bell. You know, when I post again, I usually post Monday, sometimes I forget, because I'm stupid. I'll have the video all done, and completely forget to post it. That's besides me. So, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in the next video.